The mobile security on the signalling protection side has been of critical importance for the last number of years. It's not widely known what can be done on the signalling network and how dangerous it can be when attackers get access to it. And not only that, who those attackers are. We're not talking about script kiddies and things like that. We're talking about highly financed, highly resourced and highly technical adversaries. Those that we need to keep up to date with, we need to keep monitoring, we need to keep putting in protections against. So from our perspective and our threat intelligence unit and the research and development that we do, we protect the signaling network from the types of attacks that can disclose somebody's location, it can reroute phone calls, text messages, for example, two-factor authentication. Somebody could see, steal your bank code and therefore steal money out of your bank account. Uh, bring down networks, uh, cause problems with IoT devices. Can you imagine if an entire uh, set of agricultural sensors failed and crops failed and caused a famine? You know, th these are the sorts of attacks that we look at, that we protect against um, as part of our, our service to our customers. On the messaging side, it's very much related to SMS phishing, spam, and those types of things that affect consumers hugely. So at the moment, for example, we have over 70% of the, the messaging in the US market alone, where we filter and prevent these types of attacks from happening. Going forward with ENEA, our intention is to also cover the data plane with the best of breed DPI that we see and the other business units so that we can secure mobile networks end to end from signaling control plane to data plane and provide complete security. And our current threat intelligence unit, which is the best at what it does in terms of finding these security threats, uh, that will ensure that security for our customers going forward across all of those planes. Thank you.